Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. With issue number 63, you'll receive template number 8 for the border of our central panel and also some more applique template pieces. Today we're starting our applique and you'll also receive some fabrics to begin. You'll receive the brown, the white, cream, candy blue and the tan. Today we're starting the central panel applique process. We're starting by blocking out the Peter Rabbit image. Let's get cracking. Our first step is to trace out all of our template pieces for our applique onto our bonder web. I've collected um, the central panel applique templates from one all the way to four. All of these contain the elements and pieces for Peter Rabbit that we need today. Template number one is for our tan pieces. Template number two is for our cream pieces. We've got template number three for the candy blue and template number four for our white. It's time to get cracking and trace all of our pieces onto our bonder web. I'm going to start with template number one and trace out our large tan pieces. I'm on to template number two now and I'm going to trace out the cream pieces. The cream and the tan have been economically traced out. I'm going to be tracing out the candy blue pieces and the white. All of our Peter Rabbit template pieces have been traced out on two pieces of bonder web. There's 15 of the pieces and they're quite large to what we're used to working with. I did manage to get them just onto two pieces of bonder web. It's time for me to cut these out very carefully and to place them on their designated fabrics. So you can see that I've cut out all of our template pieces. I did cut them out carefully, however, I did bubble cut around the pieces to save time and the real finesse occurs when you cut out the fabric pieces. It's time for me to press all of our bonder web pieces onto our fabric. We've pressed on all of our bonder web pieces onto the fabric. Now for the fiddly bit. I'm going to take my time to cut these out very carefully.
So that took quite a while. All of our pieces have been cut out. I'm going to give our backing fabric a really good press before I lay out all of the pieces. As I lay the pieces down onto the fabric, I'm going to remove the backing of the bondo web. It's time to start laying out our pieces. So I'm quite happy with the placement of our pieces. We do have a few pieces left, his paws holding the carrots, but I'm not going to place them on yet until I've cut out the carrots and all of the vegetables because they seem to be underneath his paw and if I iron it on, I won't be able to remove it. It's time for me to press Peter Rabbit down. So I'm going to stash away these tiny applique pieces until we've added all of his vegetables and the other pieces that go on top of Peter Rabbit. I am however going to add his finer details such as his facial features as well as some of the other features on the applique. The features that are meant to be embroidered but I am going to applique instead. I'm going to start with his face and then move down to his buttons and add some detail on the spade. So all of our pieces have been placed down. I'm going to give him a final press and show you what we've done. So here we have the beginning of the Peter Rabbit central panel applique. I really recommend tracing out the design onto your fabric first. This one would have been really tricky if I had done it by eye and I'm really grateful that I did trace it out to start with. I hope you enjoyed making a start onto your Peter Rabbit central panel applique. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we add the handle of his spade and the birdie. Until next time, bye.